Well hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Freya, if you're new here, if you're not new then I'm sure you already know that. But welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to be showing you, I think it's either six or seven early spring outfit looks. I say early spring because there's a few blazers and jackets in this haul. I mean of course there is. It's me, I love a blazer. <laughs> but in the UK it doesn't really warm up until like the end of April, early May. And at the moment we're kind of like, what is the date? It's like mid-March. So I feel like if you're in the UK you will definitely need these jackets at the moment. Nearly all of these outfits are really kind of casual, everyday, classy, timeless outfits in my opinion that you guys will really get your wear out of. I'm also going to be showing you how I elevate all of my everyday looks using some really gorgeous statement jewellery and it's all from Monica Vinada. Now I'm sure you guys have heard of Monica Vinada and I'm so excited to say in this part of the video I am actually working with them. I have so many Monica Vinada pieces already. I actually bought one of my best friends one of their rings not so long ago when she got a new job. I think their pieces are absolutely gorgeous and just so timeless. All of the jewellery you see me wearing right now from my necklaces and my earrings, my rings and a few of my bracelets are also from them as well and I'm going to give you more of like a close-up look at them all. Monica Vinada jewellery all comes beautifully packaged which is made from recycled materials. All pieces are made out of 100% recycled sterling silver and 18 karat gold of a May with ethically sourced gemstones and pearls. They also have a repair and rewear program to prolong the life of your jewellery and I absolutely love how sustainable the brand is. All of these pieces I think look fabulous worn together or as separates and the quality really is amazing. The bangle is one of the brand's most iconic pieces which I love worn next to the altar bracelet that you're able to add charms to as you can the necklaces as well. I mean, I've said this before, and I will say it over and over again, but I never feel fully dressed unless I have my jewellery on. I feel like it polishes off any outfit. So I'm excited to show you these seven spring outfits finished off so nicely with my Monica Bernarda jewellery. Okay, so outfit number one is actually the outfit that I have on right now, and I feel that it's really made up of two very staple pieces in my spring summer wardrobe. So first up I have on this white linen shirt which I actually picked up about two weeks ago from Zara and then I've paired it with these classic really lovely fitting jeans from Everlane. I've actually had these for over a year now and I absolutely adore the fit of them. They're really really flattering and so comfy as well. I love a white linen shirt. I just think it looks so crisp whether you're wearing it like this with a pair of blue jeans, even on holiday over a bikini or undone with a little cami top underneath in the summer here I just think it looks so fab it's so classy and then as you can see I just have all my jewelry on just to really kind of put the outfit together right now I feel like this look would be a little bit too chilly so I am going to complete it with a trench coat and this one is actually a Burberry vintage trench that I picked up in 2020 I think it was now it was a steal of a price I actually got it for about 200 pounds off of ASOS marketplace and it's beautiful it's like it's barely worn i would say that i did go a little bit too oversized it's a little bit too big for me but i don't really mind i think it's fantastic i get compliments on it every single time i wear it out and i think it's well i just think it's gorgeous now i said none of these outfits were going to be dressy and i'm actually wearing a heeled boot <laughs> with this outfit but i just think the heeled boot really kind of ties this together nicely however the whole look would look so great with a little pair of converse or any type of white flat trainer. So outfit number two, I feel like this look I go back to year after year. I absolutely love it and it never lets me down. So I'm going to switch up these blue denim Everlane jeans I have on right now for the same style and from the same shop, the white pair instead. Then I'm going to pop on this black t-shirt. This one is actually from Zara. It's actually really good quality as well, but you could pick a t-shirt up from places like Me and M, New Look. I mean, t-shirts are probably the most basic wardrobe staple of all time, but they'll never fail you and they're so great. Then the next piece of the outfit is a classic oversized black blazer. I actually picked this one up from Arkit a couple of years ago now. It's brilliant quality. It's that perfect kind of size where it's oversized but not too oversized and it's just got the right amount of structure to it as well. Then I've just finished off the outfit with my Gucci loafers, another piece in my wardrobe that I take out year after year, my new YSL bag and as you can see all of these gold pieces just tie in with the gold on my bag and on my shoes and just make a really kind of classic everyday look look so much more put together. Outfit number three, I feel like a few of you have probably already seen this over on my Instagram because I did actually post it, I think it would have been last week and 
I love an all cream look. I mean, you guys know I love that even in winter. So this time of year, we need to kind of reinvent one for summertime, don't we? So first up are the jeans. So I actually picked these up from New Look. Now they are ankle grazers. That is the style of them. They are meant to be ankle grazers. However, they are really lovely jeans and they match my coat and jumper so perfectly. The jumper I'm wearing is from H&M. It's actually cashmere. I got it just recently in a haul you guys might have seen. But it looks gorgeous with this H&M coat. Once again, was featured in a recent haul. And this look for me is just cream perfection. I've then finished it off with my Chloe trainers, which I got last year from Farfetch. I adore those trainers. I think they're so beautiful. A lot of people have said they're a little bit uncomfortable. But I think the trick is with them, you must size up. I definitely sized up a whole size in mine. Okay, they're not the most comfortable shoes ever. I'm not going to go and run a marathon in them. But for me personally, they are actually fine and I think they look stunning with any kind of cream outfit. Then to finish the look, I've actually just paired it with a Katie Loxton handbag, which is from my recent edit with them. I haven't actually spoken about that yet on YouTube, but I will speak about it properly soon. You guys always ask me to kind of recommend bags that aren't designer and ridiculously overpriced. And so I thought it'd be really lovely to tie my Katie Loxton bag in with this outfit. So outfit number four, I think I've kind of lost count at this point, is another one that's just very casual for every day and something that you can kind of adapt when it gets a little bit warmer as well. So starting off first of all with these trousers. These are something like a little bit different for me as if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I predominantly wear jeans or gym leggings. That's like the two things that I wear. These I actually picked up last year from H&M, but I have checked and they do have some really similar ones on the website right now. But they're like kind of more of a structured classic trouser. So they're in black and they almost look like something you'd wear to work. However, if you style them in the right way, they do look really lovely for a daytime look as well. So I've then paired it with a white t-shirt. This one is actually from Naked Fashion. Then over the top, I've paired it with this jumper. So I picked this up from H&M as well. And it's actually cashmere. So it's a really, really gorgeous feel to it and just feels a lot better quality than kind of like your average jumper. What I love about this outfit is how the t-shirt, you can see it kind of underneath. So you can see the neckline of the t-shirt and you can just see the white at the bottom of the t-shirt. It kind of adds like a little bit of something else to the outfit, breaks it up, and in my opinion, just makes it look a little bit more casual. As the weather gets a little bit warmer, this jumper looks really nice, kind of just tied around your neck instead of being on. So as it gets warmer and you get a little bit hot, take your jumper off, tie it around your neck. And I think that's a really cool look as well. I finished the look off with my Converse. I couldn't live without my Converse. I will love them forever. They're so great for every day. They go with pretty much anything. And I just feel like as well, they really casual down any kind of outfit. You could also wear this look with like the Gucci loafers, let's say. But I just prefer how it just looks a little bit more cool and everyday kind of vibe with the converse i popped on my ysl hobo bag i think that's what that bag is called and then tied in with all of my gold accessories i think it looks great Outfit number five is another outfit you've definitely seen over on my Instagram already. I actually posted this, I think it would have been last week now. So I'm starting off first of all with these faux leather, I was about to say they're joggers, they're not. They're definitely like a straight leg, mum jean kind of style trouser, but they're leather rather than jeans. Does that make any sense? I picked these up from Zara a couple of years ago now, but I will link similar down below. I know they're similar, and I think Hollister have a really similar pair. I've then got on this brown belted jacket, which once again was in my recent H&M haul and one of the pieces that I kept. I feel like this is almost like a spring summer adaptive version of my mango coat, the long brown one, which I never have off my back in winter. So as soon as I saw this on H&M, I just knew I had to have it because I know I'll get so much wear out of it. I then just finished the look off with a classic white t-shirt. Something you should know about me, I basically style every outfit with a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt because they just go with everything and I hate feeling uncomfortable in clothes and for me, t-shirts, and I feel like they are for most people, are so comfy. So I always just try and revolve all of my outfits around a really comfortable like base to it. Does that make any sense? Hopefully it does. Then I finished the look once again with my black and white Converse and I've actually changed up the YSL bag this time just for a little bit of difference and I've got my YSL Cassandra bag on. This is a bag that I've had, I think it will be either two or three years this summer and I have used it so much. When people ask me the question about what designer handbag they should invest in, 
The YSL Cassandra is a brilliant one. It's so good for every day because you can wear it cross body. It's got the top handle option for evenings. I mean, I'm not gonna get into it too much because I feel like that's a whole nother video, but if you're looking for a good designer handbag, the YSL Cassandra is a great one. At this point, I have actually completely and utterly lost track of where we are. I think this is outfit number six. And we're starting off with a pair of Levi jeans. So Levi jeans, I mean, I wear them non-stop. I have two of exactly the same pairs. I think these are called the 501s. I will link them down below. I either get them from Very. I think one of my pairs are from Very and the other pair are from Amazon. I actually size down one size in these and I do feel like they do come up quite big, but they are, I don't care what anyone says, one of the best pairs of jeans ever. Levi's are just fantastic. Then I paired them with this. So this knit was another knit. You're gonna be sick to death of me saying this. And if you haven't already watched that haul, go and watch it because this is also a piece from my last H&M haul. So I was kind of umming and ahhing whether to keep this because it is very oversized. But I did actually wear this outfit out for lunch the other day with my mum and dad and I absolutely loved it. So this is like a really gorgeous, chunky, cream knit and it is from H&M. It's a wool blend and has these really gorgeous oversized buttons on it. I know knitwear can be a very wintry thing to wear. However, with this knit it being this really gorgeous cream color and the fact that the neckline on it is quite open, I just feel like it makes it look a lot more spring-like and summery. I really love as well with this neckline how you can see the gold jewelry underneath it too. I've then completed the whole look with my cream Chloe trainers. I feel like no shoes would look better with this look than those. I've also popped on my white Chanel bag, which I'm still not over the fact I own that bag. It is blooming beautiful and this is just such a fab everyday outfit look. One thing I would just quickly say about this outfit, obviously because the jumper is quite thick, I did wear it with a little cami top underneath. So if at any point you do get a little bit warm, you can take the top off, then you won't be naked in your bra and you can just have the little cami top underneath instead. So my last outfit, and I do not care what time of year it is, I have to include an all black outfit. So we're actually gonna include some pieces you've already seen. So we've got the faux leather trousers from Zara. We've then just got a basic black t-shirt. Then I have this really gorgeous cashmere knit, which I picked up from Cos not so long ago. I actually wore this already over on my Instagram with, I think it was my Levi jeans, white t-shirt, and a pair of Converse. And I was gonna include it in here, but I thought as you'd already seen it on there, it'd be a bit boring if I included that too. Now I know this outfit is actually quite covered, which is why I've given the option for the black t-shirt instead. The jumper's kind of like more for now, but once again, it does look really nice, kind of tied over your shoulders instead. I finished the look with my black Gucci loafers, my Chanel bag, and I love how the gold hardware on my Chanel bag, like all of these outfits look so good with the gold jewelry that I have on as well. So those were, I think, my six or seven spring everyday outfit looks. I know a few of them you may have already seen from me before, maybe last spring, but I do like to do that. And I know some people think it's a little bit boring, but I actually do love to show you kind of repeat outfits because it means that you might have some pieces in your wardrobe from last year that you bought and maybe you feel like you didn't like them anymore or you didn't know how to wear them this year. But maybe this video has just shown you how to restyle some pieces that you've already got. So that is the end of my first spring styling haul. Please do let me know if you've enjoyed this video. Like, let me know in the comments because you know what? I have thoroughly enjoyed filming it and I hope it's come across that way. I've also got so many more spring outfit ideas so I could film this video again with other looks if you guys have enjoyed it. So please do let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you don't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up because it helps so much. And also don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram Instagram where I post outfit inspo pictures pretty much every day. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Take care. Bye bye!